Uh, and I'll tell you, me, <clears throat> recently, I don't trust South African media. Wow, I don't. I don't. I'm actually beginning to hate them. I think that they are lazy, lazy, you know? They don't, they don't look further than what it looks like. You see, I'll give you an example with xenophobia, all right? I'm South African. I'm born here. Um, I'm not xenophobic. So why are they all having this blanket condemnation? Xenophobic attacks, xenophobic attacks. South Africans are xenophobic. Blah, 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 blah. You know, let me give you an example as a mother, all right? I have a 12-year-old son. I'll tell you the history leading up to my son. My son was born in a time in South Africa when people were raping babies. Babies were raped so badly that they, I know there was one incident in the newspaper where this child's intestines were out. They were out, you know. I have a friend, an African-American friend, and his question used to be, what keeps a man's dick hard? What keeps it hard? You know, when he's in that baby, what, what does he think that keeps it hard? Right? So yeah, I am pregnant in this very dangerous time in South Africa. I can tell you, my family, my friends were scared. They were all scared. What if, what if I get a girl child and what if that girl child gets raped? Right? So yeah, I get a boy. <sighs> right? Boy grows up. Boy grows up. Another fear is Mutti murders. From about five to nine years old, right? Boy children get killed. They get killed. Their little genitals get cut off. And it's got to be before they be reach puberty. Before it can, you know, yeah, before things happen in their bodies. So my child survived baby rapes, he survived mutti murders, now he's 12 years old, right? At a point where he doesn't listen to the mother, huh? right? He's going to do things on his own. I'll tell you in December, right? This past December, December 2014, I got a phone call. I'm at work, it's my busiest time, right? I got a phone call. This man introduces himself as the manager of ShopRite in our area. He has my son. My son was caught with another boy for stealing chocolate. Right? They stole chocolate. Please, can I come and get my son? I'm not one of those mothers. No, I'm busy. I'm at work. My son is well fed. Have you seen him? Does he look like he needs anything? So that child stole out of naughtiness. Put a sign, <clears throat> put a sign around his neck. Make him stand at the entrance of your shop and say, I am a thief. I got caught stealing. This is what will happen to you, but I'm not leaving my work for that. Right? So, um, he said, fine, we'll do nothing. We can do nothing. I told him, call the police, do something so that my child can learn cause and effect, so that he can learn to be a responsible man, right? So they said they won't, they can't do anything. They will just let the child go. They would have preferred to let him go in my custody, but they will let him go, all right? They're actually disgrading our cultures, showing that our cultures actually don't mean anything. Africans uh, need culture.